Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to decide which fraction is the smallest. So let's have a look at the example here. So which fraction is smallest? 7 eighths or 9 tenths? So the best way to do this is to make equivalent fractions for 7 eighths and 9 tenths. And on the denominator of the equivalent fractions, uh, we need to find a number that 8 and 10 both go into. So let's find this number. So if we start with our 8 times table, so I'm just going to write down the first 5 multiples of 8. So if we need any more, we can always come back to these later. Let's do the same with the 10s. So as you can see, 40 is both in the 8s and the 10 times tables. So this is the number that I'm going to put on the denominator of my equivalent fractions. Okay, so how many times then does 8 go into 40? Well, it went 5 times. So we need to times the top number by 5. So 7 5 is 35. How many times did 10 go into 40? That went 4 times. So we times the top number by 4 here. So 9 times 4 is 36. So as you can see, the first fraction is the smallest because it's 35 out of 40, whereas the other one is 36 out of 40. So that means 7 eighths would be your smallest fraction. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.